Item Number SCP-7108 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-7108 is contained in a humanoid containment chamber in Site-17. SCP-7108-A is to be regularly drawn via vena puncture and stored for research. SCP-7108 is also to be prescribed some ethicone tablets for medical purposes. SCP-7108 is currently in the medical bay, pending the results of Addendum 1. Description: SCP-7108 is a male of Dutch-American descent, formerly known as William Pemberton, age 27. Instead of exhaling carbon dioxide during respiration, the gas is directly absorbed into the entity's bloodstream. SCP-7108-A designates SCP-7108's blood. Due to each blood cell being adapted to carry CO2, SCP-7108-A is dark brown in coloration, indicating an extremely low oxygen count in the body. As a consequence of consistent accumulation of carbon dioxide, SCP-7108-A is undergoing constant carbonation. This occurs regardless of whether SCP-7108-A is physically inside SCP-7108 or not. Despite these changes, SCP-7108 does not suffer from hypercapnia and retains biological function, albeit with several minor side effects. Open sores tend to form in SCP-7108's stomach lining, causing SCP-7108-A to leak out and mix with the stomach acid. This doesn't cause SCP-7108 any pain, but does result in bodily gas buildup in the digestive tract, leading to frequent, inopportune social disruptions. Footnote 1. This exponentially increases when SCP-7108 is physically shaken. SCP-7108's caffeine levels are abnormally high compared to baseline humans, and chemicals such as phosphoric acid, aspartame, and acylfame-K were also detected in their body. Whether this is a direct result of the entity's anomalous traits is unclear. Other than that, SCP-7108 is in fine health. See Addendum 1. Addendum 1. Incident 7108-1. On May 8, 2016, SCP-7108 was involved in an incident in Site-17's cafeteria. The entire incident has been recorded. Begin Log SCP-7108 leaves the lunch line and heads towards a lunch table. The entity rests their tray down and waves to the table's only occupants, a man with ursine features and a woman with pink, sparkling hair. The two humanoids stop conversing with each other and wave back. SCP-7108 drinks their milk carton. A loud hiccup causes milk to be snorted out of the entity's nostrils and stains their shirt. SCP-7108 curses, wipes up the spill, and apologizes to the two humanoids. The humanoids nod. SCP-7108 grabs their sandwich and takes a bite. SCP-7108 violently belches, spewing bits of eggs and bacon onto the table. Occupants at other tables stare at SCP-7108. The entity's eyes twitch as they subconsciously rip the sandwich apart. SCP-7108 presses their face against the table and groans. A guard walks up to SCP-7108 and taps them on the shoulder. The entity makes a thumbs-up gesture. The guard leaves. SCP-7108 pulls their head up. The two humanoids stare at them. The entity massages their temples and sighs. It's not like I... You know, we're all here for a certain thing, and it's beyond your control. And I'm here because of... Your breath? It smells like plastic and mildew. Yeah, let's roll with that. The female humanoid gives SCP-7108 candy. Here, I think you need it much more than me. Your breath kind of stinks. No offense. None taken. Thanks. Ooh, minty. After consumption, SCP-7108 places the Mentos wrapper on the table. Almost immediately, SCP-7108 cringes and holds their stomach. They hyperventilate loudly and hunch over, startling the two humanoids. A couple of guards approach SCP-7108, tapping them on the shoulder again. The entity attempts to cover their face. Bubbles begin to seep from underneath their fingers. SCP-7108 suddenly lurches backwards. Foaming SCP-7108-A fluid is being ejected from their nasal and oral cavities, spouting at least 0.5 meters upwards into the air. 
SCP-7108 jumps up from their seat and flails their arms, bumping into people and spilling trays. SCP-7108 lands on top of a lunchroom table, breaking it in two, causing its occupants to retreat as their trays spill onto the entity's upper body. Everyone in the cafeteria observes the scene expressing confusion, concern, or amusement. Before SCP-7108 can be properly restrained by more guards, the ejections increase in intensity. The entity slides across the floor, crashing into a dish cart and bursts past the kitchen doors at great speeds. SCP-7108 slams into a wall, breaking off a sink in the process. The chefs panic and exit into the main cafeteria. The entity appears dazed and tries to stand up only to be thrown around the area. Pots and plates are knocked to the floor. A bottle of cooking oil is also knocked over and spills its contents onto a grill, creating a sizable fire. The sprinkler system activates, the entire kitchen is wet. A crowd watches from the cafeteria window expressing shock as the containment alarm notification blares in the background. SCP-7108 manages to hold himself in place by grabbing onto the grill. SCP-7108 notices a plate shard that is embedded in their arm. The entity panics and rips the shard out. Brown foam sprays from the injury. SCP-7108 gargles frantically, exhibiting signs of immense panic before more foam is ejected from the spaces between the eyeballs and eyelids. One member of the security team fires a net launcher at SCP-7108 as they are trajected out the cafeteria window. The net latches onto the ground, pinning the entity to the floor. SCP-7108 struggles against the net. The tightness of the restraints and the extreme motion SCP-7108 exhibits results in the net lacerating the entity's body further. Foaming SCP-7108-A fluid is expelled from these lacerations at once. The force of these bodily spouts causes the entity to uproot the net which wraps around itself. SCP-7108's extreme propulsion causes them to crash and bounce off tables and walls. A large number of the occupants flee the cafeteria. Some duck under the tables for protection. SCP-7108 gets tangled in the wiring of an overhead lamp as they smash into the ceiling. SCP-7108 sticks in place for approximately 21 seconds until bodily spouts decrease in intensity. The entity falls from the ceiling, nearly falling to the floor at a fast speed until their wiring gets caught up in the ceiling fan. SCP-7108 swings around in a slow circular motion. A guard turns off the ceiling fan. SCP-7108, now soaked, easily slips through the restraints of the net and wiring, falling to the floor. Members of the security team and a majority of the cafeteria's occupants approach the entity. SCP-7108 is face down on the ground. They are twitching as foam continues to leak from their mouth, nose, and eyes. They scratch their fingernails on the floor as the bare humanoid and the pink-haired humanoid stare at SCP-7108 in horror. SCP-7108 coughs up more SCP-7108-A. Does... Does my breath still stink? End log. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.